So you know when you're out thrifting and you find something and you pull it out on the rack and you're like, is this what I think it is? Oh, it is. I have had that feeling multiple times as I have pulled things out of this box and I'm so excited to show you what I got. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Ashley and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark in Canada. If you enjoy unboxings, reseller content, thrift hauls, tips and tricks related to reselling, I would love for you to smash that subscribe button. And if you're new around here, I would love for you to say hello in the comments and let me know you subscribe because I love connecting with this community. Still in lockdown in Toronto, still need new ways to get inventory. So I ordered a women's 50 piece box from Jade at Fashion Without Traction. Okay, so real talk. I opened the box and looked through it before making this video, but I'm still really excited to show you what I got. It's all very fresh. And I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with my Boutique by the Box box by showing you what's in the box, going piece by piece, and just giving you my candid thoughts on the pieces, and then go inventory everything, and then talk about the actual value and how I feel about the box. Let's get into it. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm gonna talk way too fast during this video and everyone's gonna be like, Ashley, what happened here? I'll do another thing at the end where I actually count the pieces, but it feels like 50 pieces, but I actually have no idea. It is a women's box. Everything that came, I think with the exception of maybe like one or two pieces was actually women's and it's a mix. This Brixton hat is actually really cute because there was the Brixton hat and then there was like a piece inside the hat, which is really cute. And my boss thinks I should keep this hat. I don't know. Do you think I'm a hat person? What do you think? Is it cute? Let me know what you think in the comments. I don't think I've ever sold a hat, maybe like a winter hat, but definitely not a hat like this, but I think it's super cute. It is a size seven and a half, large, no idea anything about hats. It is really lovely. It just needs a little bit of delinting, but it's a lovely hat. Do we know? It's 100% wool. Awesome piece. I was going to wear it for the video, but I don't know, maybe I'll put it back on at another point. One of the other accessories in here were these Kenzie boots. I haven't really sold Kenzie, but they're size eight and a dark gray. They're new with tags and they've got cute little zippers and little wooden heels. I think they're just man-made materials. Oh no, they're leather. So these are super cute. So there was a couple of Patagonia pieces and this is one of them. It is a men's jacket just like a long sleeve, longer rain jacket. It looks like it's in good condition. There's just like a little mark on the back that I need to get off, but it's really great. I know that Patagonia does well for folks, so I'm looking forward to selling this coat and it'll be really great for spring. At first glance, the items in the box are pretty good quality. Um, I only saw a handful of flaws or just work that needed to be done. And some of them just need to be laundered and have like a mark or like deodorant stain taken off them, but everything is in pretty good shape. And so that is really, really awesome to see. There is a mix of used things, new with tags, and definitely a mix of like mall brands and like bread and butter brands as some people refer to them to, and like higher end brands, um, and some brands that I'm familiar with and some that I had to look up and some that I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool. This is so sweet. So it's Rebecca Taylor. It's like a super cute little dress this blush pink color it's got pockets and a zipper in the back so the zipper pull is frayed and kind of missing but i think i'll just take that off and just have it be a zipper um anyway this is super sweet i've never sold rebecca taylor before this is a size zero and it's corseted anyway super adorable mini very mini very mini but very very cute oh yes there's a gown. I don't I don't know who's wearing this right now, but someone might be. It's a Nicole Miller collection gown. It's 100% silk, size 8, these spaghetti straps, zipper in the back, very long, beautiful. I don't know. Are we wearing gowns in 2021? I don't know. I'm going to find out. But very lovely, very beautiful. Little black dress, and by little I mean very lengthy and long and there. This is one of the other accessories that came in. It's just like a little wristlet where you can put your cards in it. And this is Coach. So I think it's probably an older style just because it's kind of meant, I think this is like, would fit like your Nokia phone in it. But yeah, it's pretty cute. Did I just date myself? I said Nokia phone, I 100% did. Anyway, it's a cute little piece. It is Coach. It's in good condition, especially since it's like white. It feels like man-made materials, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, this is just a cute little wristlet. I could still see people getting use out of it even if their phone will not fit in here. I'm like, why am I putting all these things? 
this week was giving me some like steampunk vibes and I think it's really funky. I didn't know the designer, but I looked them up and their pieces sell for a good amount. Retail, I'm not sure about resale, um, but the brand is Calvin Lou, L-U-O, and it's a size medium and it's this pencil skirt, but it's kind of got like a ruffle at the back and then this ruching in the front that you can adjust, um, which make, would make it shorter in the front and longer in the back. Anyway, I thought this was like really, really fun piece new designer and it's new with tags. So that is super fun. Maybe not my style, but I think someone will love that. I don't, I don't know how to, I, I don't have words for this, but it is a snake print visor. Um, the brand is Eugenia Kim. It's the Genie line. So the lower end Eugenia Kim, but I had a look at it sold at Nordstrom Rack and maybe not for me, but I'm sure someone will enjoy this. I'm not going to try this on, but you can imagine what it would look like. I never knew I wanted or needed a snake print visor, but someone out there sure does, and I'm sure it will be very cute on them. Little ponytail? Huh. I'm trying to see what this brand is called. It's CP something. It's like shapes or shades, but the writing is in white, so it's a little bit harder to read. Uh, but it just seems like, oh, CP shades. There we go. So this is uh, a brand called CP shades. It's this plaid linen shirt. I thought it was going to be like American Eagle or J. Crew when I pulled it out, but I've never heard of CP shades. Nice to wear in the spring. A size medium but it's definitely is it a size medium did i just make that up i don't know why i thought it was a size medium oh yeah because i saw it on the tag but yeah this is lovely this was the other patagonia piece and it is just a zip up um it does have a logo of a company here and i know that i've seen people who like remove this stuff so i'm going to investigate that a little bit more um but it's really nice it's in good condition it's got a zipper on the sleeve it is a long sleeve little mock neck and yeah, Patagonia is a great brand to resell, um, but yeah, I don't know about that embroidery, so we'll see about that. I thought this was really cute. It's HD in Paris, and it is this sleeveless dress with this like patchwork, and it's just green on the back. This is in a size four. I can't remember if HD in Paris is a Nordstrom brand. I want to say that they are, but maybe I'm totally wrong and I'm missing the mark, but Anyway, this is a really cute dress and I love that a lot of these pieces will be perfect for spring. Like there's definitely like a handful of sweaters and stuff, but there's also like tanks and shorts and all sorts of things that will be perfectly seasonal as I'm trying to sell them now. So that was great. Lovely dress. I haven't really seen anything like it. So that's a fun piece. I love this color. As soon as I saw this dress, it is a Banana Republic dress. Where's the top? There you are. Um, in a size four and it's really, I love, I love this color. Um, it is beautiful. It's got a v-neck and then it's got these sleeves with the ruffle and this is just like a really pretty like career wear piece or for a special event, zipper in the back. I don't sell a ton of Banana Republic but I thought this piece was really nice and I'm not sure if I mentioned but it's a size 4. It's very cute. J. Crew is one of the brands that there is a bunch of stuff and so this is just a lace tank from J. Crew, probably a little bit of an older style. I think there's a mark on this one that I need to get out. Just a cute tank in a size 6 from J. Crew. This one is a dress from Loft um, and it is a size 10. It is in a cottony material and in this like heathered red color. I think this dress is really cute. It would be better if it had pockets but probably won't sell it for a ton but it's a cute piece and happy to have more dresses to put in my closet for spring. I was really excited when I pulled these out because these are the Wilfred Daria leggings in a size extra small and they are in excellent condition. So that is great. I've sold these pants before. Probably, I think I sold them in a small, um, but these go probably like 50 or $60. So that it was like just an awesome piece to see right away. They're a high-waisted faux leather legging. I am not wearing them. I am wearing the ones that I replaced my Daria leggings with. Happy to sell Aritzia. It does well for me in my closet. And I know these leggings are a popular style. So that was great. This is another J. Crew piece. It is a blazer and J. Crew blazers have done well for me. So that was great to see. Just a navy blue structured blazer. All of the buttons are good to go. It just needs to be delinted and steamed. And this is in a size eight. Yeah, this was just like a really nice career wear piece. I'm putting everything on a chair in front of my phone and I, it's not going super well because I can just see the pile getting bigger and bigger and the box is still very, very full. These are so adorable. So they're little shorty overalls in a size small from Madewell. I love these. They're super cute. 
looks like all of the buttons are good to go. Summer 2017. They're in good condition. They're really cute. I would look very cute in them. I was very confused when I pulled this sweater out because all I saw was like this very strange neckline, which I still think is kind of strange. Like it's from Uniqlo. It's just the neckline is very small. It's just where does it go? Anyway, this is new with tags. It's a size medium. It's very cute lavender sweater with the very strange neckline. I have no idea how that looks on. And I haven't really sold Uniqlo, so I'll be very curious to see. Maybe I sold one Uniqlo piece, but that was a collaboration. I don't know if you sell Uniqlo and how it does for you. This is new with tags, so we shall see. I watch a lot of videos of people talking about Stitch Fix, and it is a subscription that you can get where they send clothes to you. And I'm not super familiar with them, I think, probably because I'm Canadian and I've never seen any other Canadians get it. I don't even know if it's available here. Let me know if you're Canadian and you get Stitch Fix, or even if you just get Stitch Fix in the US. Um, anyway, this has a Stitch Fix tag on it. It's the brand Skies Are Blue, and it is this oversized like sh denim chambray shirt in a size small, but it's very cute. Three quarter length sleeves and just kind of like a tunic style with a collar. I've seen some other resellers talking about selling Stitch Fix brands and getting like liquidation boxes of Stitch Fix brands um, or also just like experiencing Stitch Fix themselves. How many times will I say Stitch Fix? No idea how Stitch Fix brands do in Canada on Poshmark, but we shall see. Ooh, I thought this dress was very cute. Oh, I meant to look up this brand because I was curious. It is called Reformed and this dress gave me some 90s vibes because of the neckline and these like spaghetti straps that it had and then it's like strappy in the back. I like 100% had a dress like this. Anyway, I thought it was very, very cute. Lovely full skirt, floral pattern, like just a really lovely summery dress. What size is it? It's a size small. Anyway, I really like this. I was curious as I was going through the box if there was going to be anything that I felt really compelled to keep. The only contender so far, I think is the hat. I was going to say this dress, but then I think on me, I like things that have a little bit of a drop waist um, and just the back, I would need to wear a bra, so it wouldn't work for me, but super cute piece for someone else. Very flowy, very springy, really fun. This is a very, very soft sweater. It is theory and I want to say that it's cashmere. It is the wide sleeve cardi in 100% cashmere. So it is beautiful and soft. And this is in a size small. Theory is kind of sold in a bunch of different places and we shall see how it does. Yeah, no flaws that I can spot. These pieces are in great condition, which I was really, really happy to see like outside of like laundering and steaming and photographing, which is you know what I would regularly do. Like there's not a ton that I'm gonna have to do when it comes to fixing things. And that just makes my job as a reseller is so much easier. It actually makes me want to list things. I can't remember whose video I was watching recently, but they were talking about an item that they hadn't listed for a while because it had a flaw, but then they finally listed it and it sold really well. And I feel like those are the things that I also hesitate to list and take me more time to list. Um, it's those things that like need a bit more work, they need a button, they need something sewn, and they just kind of sit there and I'm not enthused. So I'm so excited that the pieces are like, solid brands they're in good condition and like i'm actually looking forward to photographing them and listing them and selling them this is a banana republic new with tags in a 10 petite and i think this dress is so cute and perfect for spring i'm gonna button it up so i can show you i haven't sold a lot of banana republic but i think this dress will be really great and seasonal of course the buttons are very small and i'm struggling to do them up so i'm just going to keep talking about this dress let me know in the comments if you tend to carry petites and how they do in your closet i have sold a handful of petite items and i think they're great because i love carrying a variety of sizes that fit people of all different sizes and i think petites just like is a further extension of that this is a 10 petite and this dress is just so cute once i finish buttoning it you will see so it is sleeveless, it has a collar, but I think this pattern is just really, really beautiful. It is new with tags. There's even an extra button in there. So that's really, really great. So it's 100% polyester and it's from summer 2018. So anyway, that is a really lovely piece that I will be excited to list for the spring. This is a brand I recently learned about. It's Christopher Fisher. And I found a scarf that I put in my Poshmark closet from Christopher Fisher. This is a silk and cashmere piece. So it's like an oversized, like short mini dress or a tunic. I wish I had gotten this just before the holidays because it's kind of like a shimmery forest green. So that could be a really cute 
seasonal piece, um, but this is in an extra small and I'm really curious to see how this will do. The scarf that I have hasn't sold yet, but it's gotten a ton of likes, so I feel like people know about Christopher Fisher, but this piece is super cute, the materials are great, so we'll see how it does in my closet. This is one of the pieces that I pulled out and I didn't see a tag on it. I was like, okay. I looked at it and I'm like, okay, it's a sweater. It has, you know, a logo on it. There's no tag at the top. I wonder what it is. And I opened it up and looked at the tag and saw that it's Kenzo and it's a size medium. Kenzo like sells very well and is a higher end brand. And this sweater is from them. And aside from needing to be de-linted and maybe a tiny bit of pilling, seems to be in otherwise good condition. I should have checked the materials. I was just caught up with the Kenzo brand. It's wool and acrylic. Anyway, comps on Kenzo sweaters range between $100 to $200, so I don't know. Kind of shocked. I've only ever found Kenzo one other time in the thrift store, and it was a pair of shoes, but they just had too much wear, and they were priced kind of high, so I didn't take the chance. But this was a surprising, lovely find. I'm very excited by this piece to see how it does. I thought this dress was so adorable and lovely. It's Urban Outfitters, it's a size medium, and it is this floral patchwork dress, really lovely pattern, and it's got a tie at the waist, ruffle sleeves, very, very cute. It has a couple threads that just need to be cut off, but it's in really great condition. I really like this, so curious to see how Urban Outfitters dresses do. I recently sold an Urban Outfitters sweater, but um, I, don't, I don't think I've sold any of their dresses before. Really cute, unique piece that I think someone will really love. Y'all know I love a good pair of jeans. I also love me some Rag & Bone. These are Rag & Bone Nina High Rise Skinny, great style. They're a size 24, so a bit of a smaller size, but Rag & Bone do well for me. They're a great style. They are in excellent condition. There's no wear on the hems. Zipper is good to go. Button is good to go. This, this was great. I was like very pleased to see that in there. I think there's one or two other pairs of jeans in the box, but those rag and bones were awesome. This is another J. Crew tank. <laughs> um, kind of similar to the last one in style, but it's a size six, just a basic black tank. Very cute. Maybe I'll bundle those. I can't remember what size the other one was, but. Anyway, this is just really lovely. Throw on with a pair of jeans. This is like when girls say, you know, put on like a going out top. This is what I kind of imagine folks wearing with jeans. Um, yeah, that's a lovely J. Crew piece. It's nice because a lot of these items I would probably pick up for myself. Some of them, like a J. Crew tank, I might not think to pick up or I might not be in that section, but I definitely know that I can sell it. This is another J. Crew shirt. All of the buttons seem to be there. It is plaid, it's called the boy shirt. Just a cute, heavier weight button front shirt, size four, a little bit oversized, but very lovely. Good condition, J. Crew, can't go wrong. The brand is Connected Petite, no idea. If you're a musical theater fan, I feel like Lori would wear this in the dream sequence of Oklahoma. Anyone gets that reference, please comment down below. Otherwise, this is the dress, early 90s vibes but it looks like something I could have worn when I was when I was younger, maybe to like my grade eight graduation. I have no idea. We shall see. It's in good condition. Very different from everything else that's in the box. Intimates, it's happening. This is a bodysuit. It is the brand Gooseberry Intimates. Do we have a size? I don't know. I don't know if I'll sell this. A little bit of lingerie. I have no issue with lingerie. I'm just like, I don't, I don't, I haven't really sold it. There's no size. Anyway, I'll look it up, see how it does. This is an athletic piece. I've never heard of this brand, but it's new with tags. It's Fashion Active Lab. It's a size P. I'm gonna go with size small. It's a cute little athletic jacket. It's got like a really neat little keyhole at the back here, long sleeve. Yeah, I don't know anything about this brand, but we shall see. It's just like a nice little active wear jacket. At first when I saw it, I thought it might be Fabletics because I saw the F, but then I realized that that was not true. Can't go wrong with a basic black athletic jacket. I also really like that there's like a mix of pieces. There's dresses, there's tops, there's jeans, there's skirts. This is an Ann Teller Petite in a size four petite. This is a really cute skirt. It kind of, there's an Aritzia one that's sort of similar, but in this burgundy color with an elastic waistband, very comfortable. Little zipper in the back. This is really lovely. 
very cute skirt. This is another skirt. It is made well in size six. I don't think this is called plaid, but it's in the plaid family. Navy with black squares on it. Do we know when it was from? Has that been cut out? From fall 2013, so a little bit of an older style, but cute fall skirt, can't go wrong. Needs a little bit of defuzzing and love, but still in good condition. Love some made well. Oh, that just looked like it was about to topple over. So I need to be careful about throwing things in that direction. This is a J. Crew shirt. The tag looks a little bit older. It's J. Crew jeans, but it is like just like a really great basic denim shirt in a size eight. I don't know, fall 2018. So not as old as I thought it was. Uh, maybe I'm just not as familiar with that tag. Do we see all the buttons? Yes, we do. Ooh, I liked this. This is a brand I have heard of but have never sold. It's A by Amanda Uprichard, so I'm guessing this is like her sideline. But look at this dress. It is so cute. Beautiful pink color. It ties at the front and then it has elastic at the back. This is a really beautiful piece. I have no idea about how this brand sells, what it sells for, but I thought it was really great to see it and I was excited by the new with tags and just like the color of this piece. like. Ah, oh, I'm filming this in January, 2021, and I'm already thinking about spring and colors like this. So this was a really, really fun dress to have in the box. These were some more basic Madewell shorts. They're in this really cute green color with an elastic waist. They're a size small and they're from, I think 2018 as well. Anyway, really cute, great condition, back pockets, elastic waist. I've only sold a handful of Madewell pieces, but it's a well-known brand. I might regret saying this, but I don't think it's super saturated in Canada because I think it's just sold in a few less places in Canada. So we'll see. I think this is a tube top. It has some deodorant marks on it, which makes me feel like it's a shirt. Um, so it is Babaton, which is an Aritzia brand and it is a size small. Anyway, give that a wash and get the deodorant marks out. A good little Babaton basic. I've never really sold Nautica, but this is a Nautica basic gray sweater but i feel like this v collar is kind of like signature nautica i feel like it's what i imagine when i think of a nautica ad so that is there do you sell nautica let me know how it does for you it's a nice sweater it's just not a brand i would normally pick up what do you think of the box so far let me know down in the comments i still got quite a few pieces in there it just came packaged in a big cardboard box wrapped in plastic so it was in good condition when it arrived doing a little bit of investigation oh yeah it's the same so I saw this at first, wasn't sure, but then I saw the other A by Amanda Uprichard dress, and that's what this is as well. It just doesn't have a tag. It has like a tag at the back, but it doesn't have the hang tag. So it's got a really cute little mock neck, and then there's like a keyhole at the back, but it's this very cute shift dress. Oh, I might like to keep this. Maybe, I will try this dress on. Um, I really like this style. I think this would be just like a great basic dress. This is very, very cute. I've only sold Eileen Fisher once. I've only picked it up once. And I recently sold that piece. It's just a very lovely black top. If you sell a lot of Eileen Fisher, let me know what does well for you. Um, the only thing I've sold and picked up so far is just like a button front shirt that sat for a while, ended up selling. Now I have this piece, but let me know if you sell it, like how it does for you and what are the pieces that do well? What are the ones that you stay away from? Oh yes, this dress is free people in a size small. It's so cool. I love this dress. It is like deep, deep V in the front and open back and it's just like really, really lovely slit in the front. I feel like someone would love this dress. It would be so cute for a night out. Oh, really love this piece. This is great. Yes. And it is in, oh, there's a hole. Oh no. I was about to say it's a really good. And then I spotted the hole. That is okay, I hope. Is it okay? Like, it's okay. Beautiful dress, small flaw. So many dresses and they make me so happy. This is Cynthia Rowley, which I don't pick up a ton of, but this dress is very, very cute. Love this blue color, little zipper in the back, these thicker sleeves, which are great because you can wear a bra with it. Very, very cute dress. You're in a size extra small. This piece was a sample and I don't know much about it, but it's Ralph Lauren collection. Long sleeve. I don't know if this is men's or women's. I'm gonna investigate a little bit more, but very, very interesting piece. So this piece needs a little bit, it needs a wash is what it needs, uh, but it's Reformation and it is a hoodie that says emotional tendencies. And I thought this was like really, really cute. Just a basic black hoodie. And I like this like, 
rocker vibe in the front. Give that a wash. Not sure how Reformation does in Canada, but it's a brand I've never picked up before, so I was happy to see it in the box. I think this was the only Zara piece that was in the box. It's a size extra small. Oh, see, whoop, dropped it, caught it. Yeah, extra small. I guess it's meant to be very oversized. It's a cotton linen blend. Anyway, this is very cute, very summery. We like a really great like beach cover up. Oh yes, okay. This is from Mango. It is new with tags. It is a size extra small and it's just like a little basic t-shirt, but it has shoulder pads. I just, I can't imagine wanting to wear a t-shirt with shoulder pads. Would you wear a t-shirt with shoulder pads? That was the thing. Anyway, Mango, new with tags t-shirt with shoulder pads. There you go. Oh, this sweater is so cute. It's Ann Taylor, size small, in this navy color, and it's got this like really cute scallop detail on the collar and on the sleeves and on the cuffs. Anyway, I thought it was super cute. Ann Taylor is not really a brand I pick up, but I really liked this piece, and I feel like if I was thrifting and I saw it, I might be inclined to pick it up. It's also a lightweight sweater, so it's great for this season of like winter heading into spring. This was on the top of the box, and I was like, oh, what is this? Is this Ten Ring collection? No idea someone is going to love this tie-dye dress. Curious if tie-dye is still gonna be as popular in 2021 as it was still like in 2020. We shall see. This is Charlotte Bridgman, The Drop. No idea anything about this brand, but look how cute this little top is. Adorable for the summer. Oh my gosh. Little pair of cutoff shorts. Very cute. Size small. Need to find out about this brand. This was also on the top of the box and I was like, yes, patterns come through. And it's an ASOS top in a size four, square neckline with longer sleeves. This is very cute. Would look really great with a pair of black jeans or a black skirt, maybe those black leather, full leather leggings. Anyway, I really liked this. I think I've only ever sold ASOS once and it was a piece that I bought on Poshmark and it looked terrible on me. I probably won't get a ton for that, but it's a cute top no matter what. This is a Lucky Brand sweater in a size extra small. I don't grab Lucky Brand a lot, but this is a nice basic sweater. It'll do just fine. This was an American Eagle dress in a size large. Very cute dress for summer and spring. I'm really sorry for all of the times that I've said cute during this unboxing, but it really describes so many of the pieces little keyhole and tie in the front and then some ruching in the back in this floral pattern. Two more pieces left. These are Levi's in 511 Slim. What size are you? They say 14 reg. They say 27 inch waist by 27 inch length. Are they a youth style? Maybe they're youth. They look like they're a higher rise. I like this wash. I don't really pick up Levi's very often, um, but they look like they're in good condition. I will sell them. Last but not least, this really pretty free people top. This was, I think, one of the things that I thought about keeping. Let's see how it looks on me. Uh, but it's the sheer top with a mock neck. It's in good condition. I saw there's one flaw here. So it's got these like sequins with embroidery around them and one of them, the embroidery is missing. There might be one or two others, but otherwise a really, really pretty piece. That is everything in this box. So I'm gonna take it all, you know, start to launder, photograph, do all the things I need to do. And I'm gonna inventory it. In the next part of the video, I'm gonna let you know how I think things are gonna do on Poshmark. Overall, I'm happy with the box. I already know that, um, but really understand more about the value I think I'm gonna get from the box based on what I paid. So now you've had a chance to see all of the items and yes, I absolutely am wearing this hat and pretty sure I'm keeping it for myself. As I mentioned, as I was going through the haul, I'm really happy with the box. Now that I've had more time to spend with all the items, gotten some of them listed, even had a few sales, I can definitely say I agree with that sentiment. There was a total of 54 items in the box, 50 clothing and four accessories, and it was meant to come with 50, so it was nice to have those extras. I mean, I ended up with this hat, so. That's pretty excellent. The items ranged from good to excellent condition and 12 of them were new with tags. There was a handful of flaws. Most of them I was able to deal with or kind of in like the midst of dealing with. There was a few items that I am going to donate just because I don't think it'll be worth it for me to resell it. But overall things were in good condition and kind of what I would expect to see at a thrift store for the most part. There was a mix of sizes from extra extra small to 2X. Most of the items ranged between extra small and medium or kind of four to eight. And there were three petites items and one plus. 
I liked that there was a range of sizes in the box. I would have loved to have seen some more larger sizes, but I know that I'll be able to sell what I have. The two main categories that made up most of the box were dresses with 16 and tops with 14. I'll put up a breakdown of everything else right here so you can kind of see where everything landed. There was a mix of items, a mix of categories, and I like that. Overall, the box had 41 different brands in it, and there was a range of like some lower end brands, small brands, bread and butter items, and then some higher end pieces as well. There was brands in there that I like to pick up on the regular, like Rag & Bone, Aritzia, Anthropology, Madewell, so that was cool to see. And I got to learn about some different brands as well. The value per item really ranged and there was definitely some bigger ticket items like that Patagonia jacket which I'm really excited for a great buyer for that. The gowns, I don't know who's buying them right now but they have a great retail value so we'll see what that means when it comes to reselling. The Kenzo sweater, I've been hesitating listing the Kenzo sweater just because I really want to know that it's authentic and I found what sweater it is. It just, it doesn't have that back tag, but it has the side tag. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little bit more research so I can feel confident when I list it, but that was a cool find as well. Also, some of the things I said when I was pulling out of the box uh, just weren't true. Uh, not because I wanted to lie to you, but because I just didn't know better and I hadn't done my research yet. So I want to share a couple of the surprises that came up as I was going through and doing my research and getting to know those pieces better. The first was the dress that was called Reformed, and I'm like, oh, that was a boutique brand, or at least I think that's what I said. That was actually a collaboration between Urban Outfitters and Reformation, so that was a neat find. Another was that CP Shades plaid tunic. I had no idea what that was, but I've since learned it is a brand based in San Francisco. They've been around for more than 40 years and they do like classic basics, lots of linen, lots of beautiful fabrics. And the linen tunics on their website retail for $200 and up. The dresses are even more than that. And here's the thing, they also recently did a collaboration with Free People. So I really encourage you when you're researching brands and researching items to go outside of Poshmark or eBay or whatever platform you're researching on and also just do like a regular Google search and see what comes up. See if you can find more about the brand and their website and what they sell and what it retails for because that will really help to inform your pricing and help you understand the true value of that item. One of the dresses I thought was a Nordstrom brand, but it's actually an anthropology brand. So that is the HD in Paris brand. And yeah, that dress was anthropology. So that was great. I recently shared a video about 10 mistakes to stop making a Poshmark and not doing research is definitely one of them. I will link that video up above and put it down in the comments. Highly suggest you do your research so you can really understand what a piece is worth. The comps on each item really ranged and the average estimate I had for quite a number of the items was kind of in like the 30 to $50 range and I'm happy with that. The box cost me 315 US dollars and just over $30 in shipping. I haven't gotten a FedEx invoice yet so I don't know if and what they're charging me for duties and customs, so we shall see about that. To figure out my cost of goods for each item, I basically took that amount and the Canadian conversion and divided it by the number of items, and I'm really happy with that average cost of goods. And with that in mind, I think I'm gonna make a decent profit on this box. Speaking of profit, I've actually already sold to the items, which is great. That CP Shades linen plaid tunic, already gone, so that's all for $39 and the Reformation hoodie that said emotional tendencies on it, that was really cute, that sold for $34. I already listed around 30 of the items. A few of them are sitting in drafts that I just need to get up on Poshmark. A few of them I need to deal with and finish taking photos of, but I'm in a good spot when it comes to dealing with all of that inventory. I feel like a lot of the pieces are things that I might have looked at or compared at the thrift store and picked up anyway. And so because I can't thrift right now, it was kind of fun in that way. It sort of felt like my own little curated thrifting experience. The experience of purchasing this box from Jade was really good. She was super communicative. There was a bit of a shipping snafu with FedEx um, and getting the package across the border and she was really helpful and kind and communicative and that was all I needed. I was totally fine with the package taking a little bit longer because she didn't ghost me and she was like had that open line of communication when we realized there was an issue. So that was great. I realized that shipping to Canada from the US like isn't an everyday thing for a lot of people. So I was really grateful that she just had that open line of communication and that we were able to figure it out and get the package here. I definitely order another box from Jade. I might check out one of the other categories that she offers and see what I could get my hands on, but it's a really great option to get a larger quantity of inventory, especially right now when the thrift stores are closed and I can't go sourcing in the same way. I had a lot of fun opening it. It was great. And I got this hat. Yeah. <laughs>
I'd love to hear down in the comments what you thought of the box, if there are any pieces that you loved, and also your experience with purchasing larger quantities of inventory. Has there been anyone that you've purchased from that has gone really well for you? Let me know. If you enjoyed going through the haul with me and hearing more about the box experience, I'd love for you to give this video a like, and if you're not already subscribed, now is an awesome time to do so. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you soon. Bye, friends!